Unit 1. 1. 1 Timothy 3.16 Mystery of Godliness Beyond all question, the mystery from which true godliness springs is great. He appeared in the flesh, was vindicated by the Spirit, was seen by angels, was preached among the nations, was believed on in the world, was taken up in glory. Mystery, a hidden or unknown truth. Godliness, piety or devotion to God. Appeared, appear, became visible or manifest. Vindicated, vindicate, declared to be righteous or just. Glory, divine radiance or splendor. 2. 1 Timothy 4.12, setting an example. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Look down on, to underestimate or belittle. Example, a model or pattern to follow. Conduct, behavior or actions. Three. 1 Timothy 4.16 Watch your life and doctrine. Watch your life and doctrine closely. Persevere in them, because if you do, you will save both yourself and your hearers. Watch, be cautious and attentive. Doctrine, teachings or beliefs. Persevere, continue steadfastly or persistently. Save, rescue. 4. 1 Timothy 6, 6. Contentment with godliness. But godliness with contentment is great gain. Contentment, satisfaction with what one has. Gain, profit or advantage. 5. 1 Timothy 6, 10. The love of money. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Some people, eager for money, have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. Love of money, excessive desire for wealth, root, source or origin, evil, wickedness or wrongdoing, eager, desiring or craving, faith, religious belief or trust. 6. 1 Timothy 6.12 Fight the good fight of faith, Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Fight. Engage in battle or struggle. Eternal life. Everlasting existence. Confession. Declaration of one's faith or belief. 7. 1 Timothy 6, 17-19. Instructions to the rich. Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant, nor to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. In this way, they will lay up treasure for themselves as a firm foundation for the coming age, so that they may take hold of the life that is truly life, rich, wealthy, arrogant, proud or haughty, hope, trust or confidence, uncertain, not guaranteed or stable, generous, willing to give freely to others, treasure, valuable possessions or riches. 8. 2 Timothy 1.7 Power, Love and Self-Discipline for the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Timid, fearful, or shy. Power, strength, or ability. Self-discipline, control over one's own behavior. 9. 2 Timothy 2.15 Rightly handling the word of truth. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Approved, accepted or recognized. Worker, one who labors or works. Truth, 
the state of being in accordance with fact or reality. 10. 2 Timothy 3.16 All scripture is God-breathed. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. God-breathed, inspired by God. Useful, beneficial, or helpful. Righteousness, moral and ethical goodness. Unit 2. 11. 2 Timothy 4.2. Preach the word. Preach the word, be prepared in season and out of season, correct, rebuke, and encourage, with great patience and careful instruction. Preach, proclaim, or teach. Prepared, ready, and attentive. Patience, the capacity to accept or tolerate delay or suffering. 12. 2 Timothy 4, 7-8. Paul's charge to Timothy. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the course. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. Fight, a struggle or battle. Course, a route or journey judge, one who determines the outcome of a legal dispute or contest, appearing, appear, coming into view or being revealed. 13. 2 Timothy 4.16 At my first defense, no one came to my support, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them. Defense, a statement to defend someone. Deserted abandoned or left behind, held against, hold against, blamed for. 14. 2 Timothy 4.17 But the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength, so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed, and all the Gentiles might hear it, and I was delivered from the lion's mouth. Strength, physical or moral power, Proclaimed, announced, or made known publicly. Gentiles, non-Jewish people. Delivered, rescued, or saved. 15. 2 Timothy 4.18 The Lord will rescue me. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen rescued, save or deliver from danger or harm, evil attack, malicious or harmful assault, heavenly kingdom, the divine realm of God. 16. 2 Timothy 4.22 Farewell greeting. The Lord be with your spirit. Grace be with you all. Spirit, the inner essence or soul, grace, unmerited favor and blessing. 17. 2 Timothy 2, 1. Be strong in grace. You then, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Strong, courageous and resolute. Grace, unmerited favor and blessing. 18. 2 Timothy 3:12 persecution for godliness. In fact, everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. Godly life, a life characterized by devotion to God. Persecuted, mistreated or harassed because of faith. 19, 2 Timothy 3, 16 to 17, Scripture's purpose. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. God-breathed, inspired by God, useful, beneficial or helpful. Righteousness, 
moral and ethical goodness, equipped, fully prepared or furnished. 20. Titus 1.16 Claiming to know God They claim to know God, but by their actions they deny Him. They are detestable, disobedient, and unfit for doing anything good. Claim assert or profess, deny, contradict or reject, detestable, deserving of intense dislike or hatred, disobedient, unwilling to obey authority, unfit, not suitable or appropriate. Unit 3, 21, Titus 2, 7, set an example. In everything, set them an example by doing what is good. In your teaching, show integrity, seriousness. Set an example. Serve as a model for others. Teaching, imparting knowledge or instruction. Integrity, honesty and moral uprightness. Seriousness, the quality of being earnest and thoughtful. 22. Titus 2, 11 to 12. God's grace brings salvation. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright and godly lives in this present age. Salvation, deliverance from sin and its consequences. Ungodliness, lack of reverence or piety toward God. Worldly, pertaining to the material world or secular matters. Self-controlled, exercising restraint over one's actions and desires. Upright, morally righteous. Godly, devout and pious. 23, Titus 2.14, Jesus redeemed us. He gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own eager to do what is good. Redeem, to buy back or rescue from sin. Wickedness, evil or immoral behavior. Purify, cleanse or make pure. Eager, enthusiastic. 24, Titus 3, 4 to 5, God's kindness and love. But when the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. Kindness, benevolence or compassion. Love, affection and care. Savior, one who saves. Mercy, compassion or forgiveness. Renewal, the act of making something new. 25, Titus 3, 7, heirs of the hope of eternal life. So that, having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs having the hope of eternal life. Justified, declared righteous. Heirs, those who inherit or receive something. Hope, a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen. 26. Titus 3, 9. Avoid foolish arguments. But avoid foolish controversies and genealogies and arguments and quarrels about the law, because these are unprofitable and useless. Avoid, stay away from. Foolish, lacking good sense. Controversies, controversy. Disputes or disagreements. Genealogies, genealogy the study of ancestries, quarrels, disputes or conflicts, unprofitable, not producing any benefit, useless, of no value. 27, Titus 3.14, be eager to do what is good. Our people must learn to devote themselves to doing what is good in order to provide for urgent needs and not live unproductive lives. Devote give one's time and effort to do something urgent requiring immediate action unproductive 
not yielding positive results. 28. Philemon 1.6 Sharing your faith I pray that your partnership with us in the faith may be effective in deepening your understanding of every good thing we share for the sake of Christ. Partnership. Cooperation. Deepening. Becoming more profound. Understanding. Comprehension. Share. To act for a particular purpose. 29. Hebrews 2.3 how shall we escape if we ignore so great a salvation? This salvation, which was first announced by the Lord, was confirmed to us by those who heard him. Escape, avoid punishment or harm. Ignore, disregard. Salvation, deliverance from sin and its consequences. Confirmed, verified. 30. Hebrews 3.15 as has just been said, today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as you did in the rebellion. Here, listen to or perceive sound. Harden, make resistant or unyielding. Rebellion, disobedience or defiance against authority. Unit 4, 31, Hebrews 4:12. God's word is alive. For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Alive, full of life and vitality. Active, producing results or effect. Sword, a weapon with a sharp-edged blade. Penetrates, penetrate pierces or enters deeply, judges, judge, discerns or determines. 32. Hebrews 10.24. Encourage one another. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. Spur, motivate or stimulate. Love, affection and care. Good deeds acts of kindness and moral actions. 33. Hebrews 11.6 Without faith it's impossible. And without faith it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Please satisfy or find favor with. Believe, have faith or confidence in. 34. Hebrews 12.1. Run with perseverance. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Perseverance, persistence, and endurance. Sin, immoral or wrongful action. 35. Hebrews 12, 2, fixing our eyes on Jesus. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Fixing our eyes on, directing one's gaze or attention. Pioneer, originator, endured, endure suffered patiently. 36. Hebrews 12.11 Yield the peaceful fruit of righteousness. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. Discipline, training, and correction. Pleasant, enjoyable, painful, causing suffering or distress. 37. Hebrews 13.5 God will never leave you. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Love of money, excessive desire for wealth. Content, satisfied with what one has. Forsake, abandon. 38. 
Hebrews 13 8. Jesus Christ is the same. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Same, unchanged or consistent. Forever, for all eternity or permanently. 39. James 1 2. Trials and Temptations. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, joy, happiness, or delight. Trials, trial, tests, or challenges. 40. James 1 5. Wisdom from God. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Wisdom, the ability to make sound judgments and decisions, generously, in a generous and abundant manner, finding fault, find fault, criticizing or blaming. Unit 5, 41, James 119, quick to listen, slow to speak. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Quick, promptly, or without delay. Listen, pay attention to what is being said. Slow, not hurried. Angry, becoming upset or enraged. 42. James 1.22 Doers of the word, do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Listen to the word. Hear and understand the teachings. Deceive, trick, or mislead. 43. James 2.17 Faith without deeds. In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Faith, belief, and trust accompanied by, joined with. 44. James 2.26 Faith and Deeds As the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without deeds is dead. Body, the physical structure of a person. Spirit, the non-material immortal part of a person. 45. James 3.5 Power of the Tongue Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. Tongue, the muscular organ in the mouth used for speech. Boasts, boast, makes exaggerated claims. 46, James 4, 7, submit to God. Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Submit, surrender, resist, oppose or withstand. Devil, a supernatural evil being. 47, James 4, 8, draw near to God. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Draw near approach or come closer to wash cleanse or purify sinners sinner those who commit wrongdoing purify cleanse or make pure 48 james 4:10 humble yourselves humble yourselves before the lord and he will lift you up humble modest and unassuming lift up elevate or raise 49 james 5 7 be patient for the lord's coming be patient then brothers and sisters until the lord's coming see how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop patiently waiting for the autumn and spring rains patient able to endure waiting or difficulty without becoming annoyed lord's coming the anticipated return of Jesus Christ. Farmer, a person who cultivates land and grows crops. 50. James 5.11 The Lord is full of compassion 
As you know, we count as blessed those who have persevered. You have heard of Job's perseverance and have seen what the Lord finally brought about. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Blessed, bless, fortunate or favored by God. Persevered, persevere, endured or persisted through challenges. Compassion, deep sympathy and concern for others. Mercy, compassion or forgiveness. Unit 6, 51. James 5, 19 to 20. Bring back a sinner. My brothers and sisters, if one of you should wander from the truth and someone should bring that person back, remember this. Whoever turns a sinner from the error of their way will save them from death and cover over a multitude of sins. Wander, go astray or deviate from the right path. Truth, the state of being in accordance with fact or reality. Error deviation or mistake 52 first peter 2 9 chosen people but you are a chosen people a royal priesthood a holy nation god's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light chosen selected or picked out royal relating to a king or queen priesthood the position of a priest. Declare, proclaim or announce. 53, 1 Peter 2, 24. He himself bore our sins. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Bore, bear, carried. Cross, a wooden structure used for execution die to sins, cease to be controlled by sinful desires, live for righteousness, lead a righteous and moral life. 54. 1 Peter 4 8. Love covers over a multitude of sins. Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. Covers, cover, hides or conceals. Multitude. A large number. 55. 1 Peter 4.10 Use your gifts. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Gift. A natural ability or talent. Serve. To provide assistance or help. Stewards. Steward. Caretakers or managers. 56. 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast your cares on God. Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. Cast. To throw or place upon. Anxiety. Excessive worry or fear. Care. Concern or worry. 57. 1 Peter 5, 8. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Alert, watchful, and attentive. Sober mind, clear and rational thinking. Devil, a supernatural evil being. 58, 2 Peter 1, 5. Add to your faith. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness, knowledge add to, include or supplement with, faith, strong belief and trust in God, goodness, moral excellence and virtue, knowledge, understanding and awareness. 59. 2 Peter 2 9. The Lord knows how to rescue. If this is so, then the Lord knows how to rescue the godly from trials and to hold the unrighteous for punishment on the day of judgment. Rescue, save or deliver from harm or danger. Godly, devoted to God and living a righteous life. Trial, test or challenge. 60, 2 Peter 3, 9. The Lord is patient. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise as some understand slowness. Instead, 
He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Promise, a commitment to do or provide something. Repentance, sincere regret and change of one's sinful ways. Unit 7, 61, 2 Peter 3, 14. Be found spotless, blameless, and at peace. So then, dear friends, since you are looking forward to this, make every effort to be found spotless, blameless, and at peace with him. Spotless, without blemish or impurity. Blameless, free from wrongdoing or fault. Peace, a state of harmony and tranquility. 62. 1 John 3, 1. Children of God. See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Lavish, to give generously or extravagantly. Children of God, individuals who belong to God's family. 63. 1 John 4, 7-8 Love one another because God is love. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. Love one another. Show affection and care toward others. God is love emphasizing that God's nature is characterized by love. 64. 1 John 5, 2-3 Loving God and keeping His commands. This is how we know that we love the children of God, by loving God and carrying out His commands. In fact, this is love for God, to keep His commands, and His commands are not burdensome. Carrying out His commands obeying God's instructions. Love for God, demonstrating affection and devotion to God. 65. 1 John 5, 14. Confidence in prayer. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. Confidence, a feeling of trust and assurance. Will. The act of asserting a choice. 66. 2 John 1 6. Love and obedience. And this is love, that we walk in obedience to his commands. As you have heard from the beginning, his command is that you walk in love. Obedience. Compliance with authority. 67. Jude 1 20 to 21. Build yourself up in faith. But you, dear friends, by building yourselves up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. Building yourselves up. Build yourself up. Spiritually strengthening oneself. Eternal life. Everlasting existence in God's presence. 68. Jude 1, 24-25. Praise to God. To Him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you before His glorious presence without fault and with great joy. To the only God our Savior be glory, majesty, power, and authority. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, before all ages, now and forevermore. Amen. Glorious Presence the radiant presence of God, majesty, greatness, and dignity forevermore, for all eternity. 69. Revelation 1.8. The Alpha and Omega. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Alpha and Omega. The first and last letters of the Greek alphabet, signifying the beginning and end. Almighty, having unlimited power and authority. 70. Revelation 21.4. Wipe away every tear. 
he will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. Mourning, the expression of deep sorrow. Pain, physical or emotional suffering. 